my beautiful souls, it's Mon here. I've just finished a morning cycling class and um, I feel super proud of myself and I'm not filming this to show off, but uh, I want to share with you a bit of a story which has been a, a big part of my whole awakening journey. And uh, it is a story of encouragement. For those of you who have um, been through any kind of abuse when you were a child, maybe even narcissistic abuse like me, um, you may have to go through a stage in your journey where a lot of this pain will start to resurface through your body and you will be guided to heal it. Now, as this can be very painful, uh, and the pain may show up in different parts of your body, for example, for myself, because the, the narcissistic abuse is very, uh, mostly affects your self-esteem, your personal power, the way you see yourself, the way you see the world, not feeling supported by others, feeling criticized, feeling disempowered, feeling judged, and um, what then ends up happening, you don't, you stop believing in yourself, you stop believing in your power, you feel, you doubt yourself all the time, you don't feel confident, you have a lack of self-esteem, you are unable to make decisions, and um, I have been going like this basically for 33 years of my life until my twin flame <laughs> came into my life and have, you know, I have begun my awakening journey. And at some point, um, Probably two years after I've met my twin flame, all of this pain that has settled on the cellular level of my body, the, the, um, the, the, the emotional pain from the rejection from my narcissistic mother, the, the physical abuse I have experienced, and all, all the mental mind manipulations and mind games, the gaslighting, and all that sort of crap that I have gone through as a child has settled. Uh, as emotional pain on my body and especially in my lower back so then I probably two years into my awakening journey a lot of this pain started to resurface and I started to experience severe back pains to the point that I had slipped disc several times I ended up in a hospital um, they had to operate me I at one point I was Basically, I couldn't even feel my legs. I was I was literally freaking out that I will not be able to walk again. And it was so severe for me that um, I ended up, after I left the hospital, I ended up this recovery journey for a couple of years, um, having to see a physiotherapist. And I could only do very mild things type of back exercises to keep some sort of strength um, or uh, you know to build the muscles around my spine and, and be able to walk and I literally for me this has been the most petrifying time of my life because for somebody who loves dancing I love cycling I love walking I love to travel facing the prospect that I may not be able to walk was literally terrifying for me and um, I made a I made a commitment to myself that this will not defeat me that I will do everything I can to to recover that I will work hard I will exercise I will build strength I will I will do whatever it takes to get fit and healthy again and um, I am, it's been horrendously painful and horrendously challenging but I'm so super proud of myself that I have actually, I've just finished my cycling class and in the last year I slowly started rebuilding my strength, I started exercising again. I started cycling, I started swimming and to be really honest with you, after so many slip discs injuries, if any of you have experienced slip disc, you know how awfully painful that is where you cannot move, you feel like part of your body is locked up and you cannot move and it's agonizingly painful and um, I was so scared and petrified to get back into exercise because I just didn't want to hurt myself. I was petrified to, to begin 
live, living again after the, this horrendously painful recovery. But I, I don't know how I managed to get the strength. There was this quote that I read somewhere that really inspired me to commit to myself and it basically sounded something like this. The fears you have, if you don't face them, they become the walls um, around you, around your life and will prevent you from living your life to your fullest potential. So I basically said to myself, even if this will kill me, I'm going for it. I am going to do everything I can, everything in my power to recover, to build my strength, to get back to full health. And I work enormously hard to reprogram my limiting beliefs around my personal power, around my commitment to myself, around my self-esteem, my confidence, my ability to live my life on my dreams, um, my self-belief, my, my courage, my bravery to try, even when I fall back down, to try again. And this is the message of this video. Um, I want to encourage you, if you are facing challenges in your awakening journey, if you are facing physical pains, emotional pains, mental pains, depression, anxiety, I want to encourage you to face your fears because the, if you don't, these fears will become the walls around you and around your life and you will be a prisoner in your own life. I want to encourage you to try to give yourself a chance to commit to your dreams, to commit to your most amazing life that you came here to experience because I guarantee you when you face your fears the the divine spirit within you will empower you will support you will give you courage and confidence like you never even thought you had all it takes is your own commitment your own drive your own desire to improve at least by one percent every day little by little build up to it don't try and become an athlete overnight become to it mastery is about commitment and consistency and this is my message of this video i want to encourage you that you are an enormously powerful creator of your reality and no fear no pain out there is greater than you some of the greatest masters of the world whether it was it's Elon Musk or Steve Jobs or you know many big people out there. They have this emotional, mental and physical resilience where they are able to handle pain enormously well. They have a very strong um, pain threshold. And I want you to build that kind of threshold within you that sort of courage and bravery to face your fears to face your to you know to, to face your anxiety to face your demons to face your depression and tackle it head on you've got all it takes you don't need anything and anybody to help you to save you to you are not a victim you are a creator and if i can recover from somebody who could barely walk to be back on my feet and doing gym every morning for an hour and feel like I am now invincible. If I can recover from narcissistic abuse, heal my relationship with my mother, set peace to everything I have gone through in the past and feel empowered, feel recharged, feel revitalized, feel grateful for every single thing that has happened to me because it has given me a purpose. It has given me a reason to to be, to empower and encourage other people who are going through a similar journey to believe in themselves, to take their power back and rebuild their dream life on their own terms. And this is what I want to encourage you to do as well. You are an, an infinitely powerful creator of your reality. Believe in yourself and face your fears because the when you do, Although all of those walls that you currently have around you will fall down and you will feel invincible. I'm sending you so much love. Namaste.